good afternoon. This is Half Man, Half Cichlid, also known as John Dinocus. Uh It's time to look at another update on my 500 gallon system. For those of you who've been following me for the last few years, uh, you're, you're aware I have an aquaponic grow bed for reducing nitrates that, uh, that uh, purifies the water from uh, the aquarium. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the sump. I've got a 110 gallon sump on this aquarium and I've made some uh, uh, significant changes and improvements. I've now been working with sumps for uh, uh, three or four, maybe five, six years on different systems and I think I've real, really dialed it in to uh, something that uh, really, really works. So without further ado, and uh, excuse me for the noise, uh, I do have an aeration chamber to uh, you know, propel the biological activity to the highest level because the nitrifying bacteria do like oxygen. So the first uh, chamber is the return and the overflows, two overflows and uh, where the water gets oxygenated before it proceeds through the, uh, through the sump. Moving to the left, uh, this is where we get rid of the cigarette butts and, uh, and bottle caps, so to speak, the big stuff. We've got a polyester pad. We've got uh, some large porosity socks, and we also have coral, crushed coral to add calcium to the aquarium, which of course the, uh, the plants consume and the African cichlids uh, need. In the center, this is new, we have a refugium. And I'll talk more about how I was able to, uh, to fit this into the sump while doubling my biological and dirt holding capacity. The other thing I've done is I've put in a, a uh, commercial grade UV sterilizer to uh, eliminate, essentially eliminate the disease to the extent possible in this aquarium. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. But anyway, the big change is I've uh, gotten rid of all the K1 media in the sump and I've replaced it with progressively finer porette foam starting with 40, excuse me, 10 ppi, a coarse sponge going to 20 ppi going to uh, 30 and finally uh, 45 ppi for water polishing. So uh, the calculated increase from what I had before in biological capacity is that it has doubled by putting in this porat foam while freeing up a whole bunch of space in the middle for a, a uh, refugium. Now in the refugium I'm using uh, water sprite, or excuse me, water lettuce to further consume nitrates. I also have some medius in there on the driftwood. The pump here is what pumps water to the uh, UV sterilizer. I love this refugium. In, in fact, uh, when my uh, Rostratus had babies, they got sucked into the overflow on the aquarium, the 500. They came down into this uh, refugium and I grew them out in a refugium to an inch and a half. I've got uh, about 12 of them left, They're a couple inches in length, and uh, hopefully we'll be reintroducing them to one of my larger aquariums, not too uh, far in the distant future. Okay, now we're going to move to the uh, last chamber of the sump. There's the uh, return side of the UV filter. 
that's the violet sterilizer. And uh, you can see this is the other end of the porette foam layers, the last layer being 45 ppi. Now, interestingly, this 45 ppi porette foam has increased the clarity of my aquarium water to where it's comparable to when I was using uh, filter floss. Now, the nice thing about this fine grade porette foam is it holds so much dirt, and you can see here, I changed, last time I changed this was uh, November 20th, so it's been running more than a couple of months, and still has probably a couple months left on it in terms of being able to take out the fine particles and keep the uh, aquarium uh, ultra clear. So, again, this uh, progressively finer porette foam has done wonders for this sump. I don't have to throw anything out. Uh, I used to have to change the filter floss once a week. Now it's uh, three to four months of ultra clear water. And uh, again, I love my uh, refugium, which uh, I'm also going to be adding a Placostomus here shortly. I've got some mystery snails and other types of snails growing in here. Uh, you can see there's a lot of shrimp. They grow like uh, cockroaches in here, feeding off the detritus that adds, lands on the foam. So, in essence, uh, this refugium is a, probably about a 40 gallon aquarium that uh, is essentially free by just adding the prep foam to free that space up and use it for other activities. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Half man, half sickly.